half already. We're getting ready for the second half of this game. And the score is the Texas Outlaws 55, the Los Angeles Thunderbirds 50. The girls are getting ready for the fifth skating period of the game, which is the first period of our uh, half here. And Peter, again, we have to note that there are no helmets in this particular game. The Jammers helmets were lost in shipment, and that's the breaks of the game right now. But both Peter and I will point out the Jammers to you as this game progresses. Here we are, the girls skating period. It's 55 to 50. Texas leads over the Thunderbirds. Diane Severson is the Jammer, and Jeannie Welch for... Here they go, two Texans, Welch and Severson. They're talking strategy right now. Remember, uh, the helmets were lost during the shipment prior to this game, and they're skating without the helmets. All right, Severson and Welch. They're moving up to that double defense of Liz Hernandez and Terry Lynch. They're trying to get by on a late chase there. Texas in the dark uniforms, the Thunderbirds in the white uniforms. Okay. Now there's Severson and Welch. They're getting by, and a total of 10 big Texas Outlaw points. A double Grand Slammer, fans. And there's Shirley Hardman, number 17. She's the captain of the Texas Outlaws. And the score now, Texas. 56. And actually, there was one point on that play. One point. Six to fifty. The one skater had gone off the infield, Peter. But it was, and I didn't catch that when it was. Okay, the pack getting intact now. Remember the Los Angeles Thunderbirds in the red, white, and blue uniforms, and the Texas Outlaws in the all black with the white trim. All right, number fourteen for Texas now is uh, Sandy Young. Okay, on the move here. Sandy Young in two. Oh, they had Lynch bottled up there coming out of that turn, Ed. That's a standard play for Texas. And uh -huh. they bottle up and they score one point. That's the way they play the game a lot. Bottle up, score, bottle up, score. It, uh, it adds a little bit of time. They waste a little bit more time. They've got the lead and now they're going to keep it. All right, and your referees again are Johnny Rodriguez and Sid Harkness. All right, the pack getting intact now. This is the Texas Outlaws and the Los Angeles Thunderbirds. We're in the uh, fifth skating period of the game, actually the first period for you fans. And the scoreboard reading 56 to 50. All right, this is number 15 for Texas, Jeannie Welch. Jeannie Welch now getting by from the inside and scores. As we said, we'll point out the jammers as this game progresses due to the uh, uh, helmets being lost in shipment. And they're skating without the jammers' helmets, but both Peter and I will uh, advise you of who the jammers are. There's Norma Rosny along with Shirley Hardman. They're talking strategy right now. All right, the pack getting intact. And the score is 57 to 50. The Texas Outlaws are on top of the Los Angeles Thunderbirds. And the pack getting intact now. And uh, Jeannie Welch again. She's out on the jam. Jeannie Welch, and look at Liz Hernandez coming back and dropping Jeannie Welch, and what do you know? Number four, Liz Hernandez getting by, placing her hands on her hips, calling the playoff. There's Shirley Hardman going right back at Terry Lynch now. And look at Hardman. Shirley Hardman drops another Thunderbird. Yes, sir, fans. Shirley Hardman really pouring it on. And the score is 57 for Texas, 50 for Los Angeles. 57 to 54. All right, the pack getting in track now. And Peter, what do you see in this Texas Outlaw team that the Thunderbirds have to be aware of? <laughs> no doubt about it. Shirley Hardman, number one problem. 
for any team skating against Texas. And the boys feel Jim Trotter, the coach of the team, strong skater, but the, the big gun for Texas is Shirley Harden. Okay, back to the jamming action now. This is Sugar Thompson, number two. And Sandy Young. All right, number 14, Sandy Young, the lead jammer here. And she's moving up. All right, Sandy Young moving up to Terry Lynch, the redhead. The Los Angeles Thunderbirds captain. There's Terry Lynch. Sandy Young trying to get by. Terry Lynch doing a fine defensive job thus far. Ah, uh -uh, she's got... Sandy Young in a headlock and leads her right over to the Texas penalty box. And look at Shirley Hardman. Hardman going after Lynch and they're going at it right now. Lynch and Hardman. And these gals are worse than the guys, Peter. And referee Johnny Rodriguez, he's trying to break it up. And look at Lynch. She leads Hardman right over to the Thunderbird penalty box. Yes, sir, Peter. And here we go now. Here we go, Jeannie Welch, now we make it Sandy Young up front. And down goes Sandy Young. All right, Liz Hernandez, the lead general right now. Liz Hernandez, number four, a good skater in the room, right? And at the rear, Norma Rosner. Here's another dynamite of a girl. Norma Rosner, number 16 at the rear for Texas, blocking out Hernandez. Hernandez trying to get by. Hernandez thwarted off. Trying to pick up the pace now. Ah, uh -uh, look at Shirley Hardman coming from the infield and drops Liz Hernandez. Look at Shirley Hardman. Oh, yeah, but one Thunderbird point on that play. One Los Angeles Thunderbird point on that play. And the score now is 57 to 55 with Texas still on top. There's Sawinski going after Hardman. Hardman reversing the field and skates away. All right, there's Liz Hernandez. Up, she's holding her stomach. I said that Charlie Hardman, she can hurt you. There's no question about it. There's Terry Lynch talking strategy over with Hernandez. And there's referee Sid Harkness warning Hardman. Look at Hardman going right back and dropping number four, Liz Hernandez. Boy, that's Shirley Hardman's target. Shirley Hardman's target is Liz Hernandez right now. Liz being helped up by the trainer. There's Hardman at the bench, along with Severson in the penalty box. All right, the pack getting intact now. Yes, sir, the Texas Outlaws and the Los Angeles Thunderbirds. It's 57 to 55, I believe. The Texas still on top. All right, this is Jeannie Welch, number 15, and number 5, Judy Sawinski. A one-on-one -on -one situation here. Sawinski from the inside comes back and Welch both jammers down there back up again there's Sawinski look out look at Hardman coming out from the penalty box knocks down her own teammate and look at Sawinski Judy Sawinski glides in with four big Los Angeles Thunderbird points four big ones and a score now Thunderbirds 59 Texas 57 all right Peter, I'll tell you, uh, this Texas team with Shirley Harvin, and look at Hartman now. <laughs> She's something else, Peter. Oh, boy. Shirley Hartman, and Peter, this is a tough Texas outlaw team. It's well put together. They've got a lot of people uh, that can do a lot of things for them. Uh, uh, you haven't, we haven't seen Baby Rocco yet. We haven't seen Severson do much yet. Uh, Rossner's uh, more or staying in the pack, but I'm sure we'll see him as the game progresses. Okay, this is Terry Lynch getting the nod from uh, Liz Hernandez now. Terry Lynch, the captain of the Thunderbirds. All right, at the rear of the pack, uh, uh, it's going to be Hardman. 
Shirley Arden waiting on deck for number six, Terry Lynch. Terry Lynch down. She gets back up. Lynch now trying to pack her bags and go coast to coast. She goes down again. Hardman defending. Lynch back up. There's Hardman again, pouring it on Hernandez. So it'll make it Lynch. Lynch determined to get by. There's Lynch now. Trying to recover. But Harbin has slowed her down. And what do we have here, Peter? We've got three Thunderbirds. Hernandez Number four and Hernandez and Sawinski. And let's see what they've got in mind. Now that double defense of Hardman and Rosner. And let's see now. Uh-oh. Rosner and Hardman, they've got their jobs cut out for them. Here comes Lynch, and she's going to score. What a super play by the... Thunderbird gals. There's Terry Lynch up and down. Baby Rocco bounces down. Terry Lynch getting by, placing her hands on her hips, calling it off, and a total of seven Los Angeles Thunderbird points. Seven big points, and a scoreboard reading now. The Thunderbird 66, the Outlaws 57. And Peter? The game has changed a little bit. Well, Lynch doing what she's being paid to do. She is the girls' captain of the team. She runs the girls. She's the general out there. And uh, uh, Danny doesn't really have to tell her to do anything. She knows the job she's been doing for years. She's a very fine captain. And she just showed it there. She can skate very good. Okay, there's Harden going over to Rosner and blaming her on that play. But you can't blame Rosner either. All right, the pack getting intact now. And the score is 66 to 57 with the Thunderbirds on top. And time running out here in this period. Time is running out. All right, this is number four. Liz Hernandez. Hernandez moving out along with Sandy Young. One on one, there's Hardman at three and out, defending for Texas. Sawinski defending for Los Angeles. Trying to block out Sandy Young. Sawinski working on Young. Hardman working on number four, Hernandez. Hernandez trying to get by. Let's see how Hernandez fares. Okay, there's Welch and Hardman. Let's see now. Liz Hernandez up. They call the playoff one, one point on that play, Peter. One point. And that's the end of the period. Hi, this is Gina Valadares. My father, Ralphie, spent most of his career with the Thunderbirds. This Roller Games broadcast is brought to you by the new book, Rolling Thunder, The Golden Age of Roller Derby and the Rise and Fall of the Alley T-Birds. Enjoy the skating action. Thunderbirds on top of Texas. All right, now for the Thunderbirds, it's little Richard Brown. Followed by number 12, Mr. Sanchez, Lou Sanchez, and down goes Little Richard. Getting the up right there, so Lou Sanchez. And what do you know about this Lou Sanchez, Peter? I know one time he was a, a good skater. Lou's uh, been on quite a few teams. Uh, he's a journeyman skater, but uh, a good rough, tough skater. He'll do the job for you at the right time, as you see right now. You see old bend over a wipeout routine and they're, they're doing the job. It's trial up front number 17. Sanchez comes in with a knee. And so it's one way of getting points. It's not the classiest way in the world, but it's putting him on the board. Right. Okay, this is Jim Trotter at the rear now. Number five. Down goes number five for the Thunderbirds. And Larry Lewis. Now Robertson in trouble. Little Richard coming up. And Sanchez placing his hands on his hips, calls it off, and picks up a grand slam, five points. Five outlaw points picked up by Sanchez. And the score now is Texas 63, Los Angeles 66. Now Pack getting intact now. And Peter, this Texas men's field uh, looks very strong. Good field. Uh, a couple of uh, newer skaters on the field, but uh, basically a, a well-balanced team, well-rounded team, some good jammers, and uh, a lot of power in the block in the field. Right. Okay. And this is Jim Trotter. He's whipping out number 15, John Velez. 
Bellas, the other half of the Bellas brothers. Why, John Bellas, and he goes down. Okay, this is number eight, Greg Robertson. Robertson for the Thunderbirds. On the move right now. He's trying to pick up a few big points here. Jim, the King Trotter, they call him. The King at the rear of the pack. And he's waiting. Robertson up. There's Trotter unleashing a few hard blocks. Trotter again. And there's Robertson trying to get by. Jim, the King Trotter, pouring it on. Robertson trying to get out of there. Hey, look out! There's number 12, Lou Sanchez, reversing his field, going after Robertson. He comes back, and no score on that play. No score on that play as Trotter was setting up Robertson. Sanchez reversing his field, coming back for the kill. So the score remains Thunderbird 66, the Texas Outlaws 63. All right, the pack getting intact now. The Siree, there you see number 17, Jim the King Trotter. We've got plenty of action coming your way. It's point, war on wheels, Peter. It's a point to uh, might be of interest here. A lot of people are probably wondering why the jammer always goes to the high side of the track to get to take a block. That's... If you go to the low side of the track, it's just so easy to be knocked into the infield and seriously injured. So unless you're really going fast, it's better to stay on the high side of the track. Uh-huh. Okay, that's a good note, Peter. All right, this is Erwin Miller, number 11. Erwin Miller scampering out for Texas. He's got company in Little Richard Brown. We'll make that number five. Larry Lewis. There's Lewis being, whoa, rail. He hits the rail. Lewis recovers. Look out, number 11 on uh, the Thunderbird back. Look at Erwin Miller and Larry Lewis. And what do you know? They're going at it, fans. Larry Lewis and Erwin Miller. They're going at it, referee. Johnny Rodriguez trying to break it up along with Sid Harkness. Well, they're yeah. not going to get in the middle of that. Eddie. No, sir. They're going to have to slow down a little bit before they... Uh, Those get fists there. are flying, uh, Peter. The fists are flying. Lewis and Miller. Lewis with the Thunderbirds. He's in a... Oh, <laughs> it takes both referees to pull them apart. Woo, brother. No way. I wouldn't want to be involved in that, Peter. Well, a timeout is being called, but don't you go away. And here we go. As we mentioned earlier, fans, if you're just tuning in, that the only skaters eligible to score are the ones with the helmets, but unfortunately, the helmets were lost during their shipment. So skaters are skating without them. But both Peter and I are pointing out the jammers to you. Okay, that was another jammer going down in the middle of Richard Brown, so that knocks him out of the jamming contention here. However, we've got number 15 for Texas, John Velez. He's the lead jammer now, John Velez. And he's going to try and put some points on the board. Little Richard at the rear of the pack, defending for his Thunderbolt team. He's up to Jim Trotter. Knocks Trotter out of the way. Little Richard Brown, look at Richard. He's trying to do it all here. He's blocking out the scoring threat in John Velez. Look at Richard pouring it on now. Velez trying to score. Time to get out of the gym. All of a sudden, Lou Sanchez reversing his field, coming back to block out Richard, enabling John Velez to pick up three Texas Outlaw points. And all of a sudden, it's all tied at 66 points apiece, Peter. We've got a brand new game here, and that's, uh, Vale that's uh, Sanchez's uh, favorite trick, the backtrack, the wipeout type thing. And you'll see that uh, uh, Trotter will set him up and, uh, and uh, Sanchez will knock him down. That's the way they've been going. They've been doing very well at it. Okay. There you see the scoreboard. It's all tied at 66. The pack getting intact now. By the sound of the whistle, the jam will get underway. Okay. It's number 12, Lou Sanchez up front. And let's see who they're going to whip out. There we go, a two-man whip. It's going to be number 16, Art Salis. Art Salis. He's the lead jammer right now. 
Mark Solis. And let's see at the rear, and there's Riley over the rail. Art Solis getting aid from Lou Sanchez, and let's see how it's going to work. It may work here. There's Solis, uh, uh, one foot on the infield. He finally gets by, calls it off. And let's see how they're going to call it. They signal... Uh, they're going to give four, four, four points to Solis, and they're going to give two to Trotter. We didn't see Trotter on the jam. Yeah. Apparently, he did get out on the jam and scored two points. Right. Six and all. So, the score now... The Outlaws, 72, and the Thunderbirds, 66. The pack getting intact now. Peter, it's been a good game thus so far. Well, very clean skated game. Hard, but clean. Yeah, hard and clean as well. All right, they're getting the pack intact now. It's going to be a little Richard Brown. Richard, the lead general, followed by number 16, Art Solis. Art Solis now. Right, he's Little. not missing the block on Little Richard Brown. Try to hit block there and just mistimed it. Richard uh, helped himself out. That would have been a there. beautiful play, Peter. It sure would have. All right, Lou Sanchez at the rear now for Texas. Lou Sanchez waiting. back. Riley, number six. He's going to try and aid Little Richard Brown on this play. Now let's see how they fail. Okay, Sanchez at the rear. Watch out. Here comes Riley. There's Richard from the inside. That was a beautiful play by Richard once more. Little Richard wants to pick up a few more points, and he may do it, fans. There's Riley trying to help out. Yep, Richard up, and woo! Well, he held right it just through. a little bit too much. That whip there, he took, took too much on that whip and whipped him straight up between the kicker and the handrail. No question about that. Uh, uh, look at Trotter now. He's going after Richard. Richard and Trotter going at it. Referees Rodriguez and Sid Harkness there are trying to break it up. But I'll tell you, they're really going at it. And Jim Trotter has the size on Richard. And he had Richard pinned down. A little less than two minutes remaining in this period. And it's now 72 to 68. They got Richard two points on that jam. Two points, so Thunderbirds still trail 72 to 68. All right, there's Jim the King Trotter. All right, he's got a one-minute penalty. All right, the pack getting intact now. This could very well be the last jam of the period, Peter. Uh, no, Trotter didn't draw a pin, but I do have five spots in the jam. All right, so the Texas now is skating short-handed, correct, Peter? No, they're skating five. And they are skating five. Okay, so no penalty there. Then. All right, we've got a one-on-one -on -one situation. Situation, rather. Danny Riley. And number 16, Art Solis. Solis, the lead jammer here. He's moving up to... Uh-uh, look out. Solis trying to crash through the pack. That's number 12, uh, Sanchez, rather. And he's trying to crash through. Let's see how he fears. There's Riley coming up. And look at Riley. Danny Riley trying to break that wall down. And this is Lou Sanchez. And look out. <laughs> Oh, first, what a play, Peter. First you see it, now you don't. Eh? And then <laughs> there goes Danny. Danny's got to get a bunch now. That takes care of Luke. That's the list. There's, There's Sanchez. He's up. Time running out on the jam in the period. Danny Riley. He gets by another Texan. And Riley, placing his hands on his hips, calling it off. He congratulated by his teammates. The score now. 83 to 72. This is former T-Bird skater Honey Sanchez. The Roller Games broadcast is brought to you by the new book Rolling Thunder, The Rise and Fall of the L.A. T-Birds. Enjoy the skating action. The Thunderbirds on top of the Outlaws. All right, this is Shirley Hartman up front now. And Carol Choice. Okay, one-on-one. 
Hardman, along with Carol Choice. She's up, and Choice, by no choice of her own, goes down. And Shirley Hardman now, the lead jammer. Okay, moving up to that double defense of the Thunderbirds. Liz Hernandez and Judy Sowinski. Hardman checking things over now. Shirley Hardman. And let's see, puts it in full gear. She's up, she breaks the door wide open. And Shirley Hardman goes, and look at Jeannie Welch now, number 14. We'll make it Sandy Young. She's going out now. Hardman's already picked up a five. <coughs> Now Sandy Young wants to get by, and look, there's another one going out. That's number 12, or make it 13, by Ann Severson. Severson up, or make it Rosner. That's Rosner, fans. Rosner goes down. Wow, did they ever score, Peter? They really picked them up. They picked up 10 points. That 10 last, big points. The last jammer to go out was too late. She didn't get the points. They got 10 points on the jam, though. That's one of... Uh, uh, Hardman's famous players that she originated. She throws it up and she uses it and she gets a bunch of points every time she makes it. That's fantastic. Ten outlaw points by Texas and the scoreboard reading now Thunderbirds 83 and the Texas Outlaws 82. That was one heck of a play, Peter. Uh, she's used it many times there. It's, uh, it's an amazing play and uh, if it's done right, you can score 15 points every time. That's possible, right? All right, the jam is on now. All right, this is Sandy Young and Liz Hernandez, and Young goes down. So Liz Hernandez, the lead jammer, right now the only jammer eligible to score. Okay, there's Hernandez, there's Shirley Hardman. Hardman working on Hernandez. And there's Hardman. Okay, Hernandez recovers. Moving back up. This could be trouble. Hernandez. So she's giving her those high arm blocks, high arm blocks. That, that, that is very painful. It, it's a legal block. She's not hitting with her fist. She's hitting with, her, with the uh, forearm. Right. Right, there's Hardman looking out. Uh, 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 goes back and Hernandez goes down. And Hernandez could be hurt here. She took a nasty punch in full. No score on that play. No score. And the score remains Los Angeles 83 and Texas 82. All right now, back getting in tag. Sound of the whistle, the jam will get underway. Alrighty. There's Rosner up front, along with number five. Severson. Oh, wait a minute, this is Diane Severson, number 13. That's right. Severson goes down, and number five is Judy Sawinski. Boy, I'll tell you, Severson and Rosner look alike from behind, you know? They really do, yeah. Both uh, the same kind of hairstyle, same exactly. kind of hair. Exactly. Those hairstyles really throws you off. There's Sawinski. Sawinski up to Hardman. Hardman containing Judy Sawinski. Look out. Ah, uh ah, -uh, Sawinski's in trouble. And Hardman keeps pouring it on. Surely Hardman really pours it on. Sawinski goes down. Hardman comes back again at Sawinski. And I'll tell you, Sawinski could be hurt. No score on that play. No, that she's play Johnny Rodriguez warns. Shirley's saying, I'm not using my knee, I'm using my hip. Yeah, no, and my thighs. Right. No, no way. And now Rosner's coming in, and it's she's going to back up Shirley. <laughs> you what? Yeah. <laughs> All right. No score. 83-82. Helping Selinski back up on her feet. And... All righty. And there's some discussion about who's going to pick up who. And the team that calls the timeout is the one that will pick up the other team. 
Now, Peter, we're, uh, we've got a little problem with the audio portion of our program, so please, fans, bear with us. Please bear with us. All right, this is Rosner, number 16, and number 3, Carol Choice. And what do you know? Choice dumps Rosner. Carol Choice, by her own. Moving up. Back in the live action here, there's Norma Rosner. Rosner now, defend, or make it Hardman defending. Hardman defending. And working on Carol Choice. Choice in trouble, she goes down, she gets back up. Shirley Hardman, look out. Boom, Carol Choice goes down again. Another shot by Hardman to Carol Choice. Choice back up, down she goes. Look out now, this is big trouble. Hardman coming back again. And Choice is down. She is getting back up and goes down and stays down. And, Ooh, look at and she will stay down after that. There, there's no doubt about that. No score on that play. Oh, that'll slow you up in a big hurry. <laughs> and I'll tell you, she really put it to Carol Choice. I'm not getting her, scraping her up off the track. There's Angstrom and... Uh, Oh, boy, I wouldn't want to be here right now. The score remains 83 to 82. Los Angeles leading Texas. All right, the uh, 4.44 remaining in this period, the seventh skating period of the game. And the sound of the whistle, the jam will get underway. Number four is Liz Hernandez. Hernandez for Los Angeles. Take advantage of it. She has the lead here. And let's see how Hernandez will fare. Thunderbird's doing a good job of controlling the pack. They just get the single jammer out, bottle up the pack. You see them there, linking arms up front. Here's Hardman at the rear now. Okay, Hardman now. And let's see what Liz Hernandez has in mind. Liz Hernandez defending. Uh, trying to pick up a few big points here. Shirley Hardman. Hardman studying the situation. Liz Hernandez. Let's see how she fares on this one. This is going to be a tough play. All right, Hernandez now picks up the pace. Up to Hardman. Up and over. What a play by Liz Hernandez. She's going to go around again. She wants to pick up a few more points. Hardman waiting for her. Hardman getting set. Hernandez under, over. She did it. What do you know? A total of 10 big Thunderbird points picked up by Liz Hernandez. And that's unusual when one skater gets all 10 points, Peter. You don't see it too often. And uh, the second time round, there's a lot of people ducking and getting out of the way. Liz was, there's no way Liz was going to stop. She was going to go straight through that pack. And, uh, boy, if you were in the way, that was your problem. That's for sure. So the scoreboard reading now is the Thunderbirds, 93, the Texas Outlaws, 82. Next month, the 10th. All right, the pack getting in tack, and that is very, very unusual, Peter, for one skater to get 10 points, a double grand slam. Oh, really great effort. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this period. The final skating period for the girls, but don't go away because we've got the men, and they'll take over for the final skating period of the game. Hi, right, this is Judy Selinski and Jeannie Welch. Welch for Texas goes down courtesy Judy Selinski. All right, Selinski now. Moving up to Shirley Hardman. Hardman on deck, waiting on defense. Selinski. Trying to move out. Can she do it? There's Hardman at the rear, pouring it on. Solinsky holding her stomach. And I'll tell you, Hardman could hit. There's no question about it. There's Hardman again. Now, dropping back is number six, Terry Lynch. Lynch for the Thunderbirds. A, DK, a decoy for Solinsky. There's Lynch and Shirley Hardman over the rail. Hardman over the rail as Terry Lynch paves the way for Judy Sowinski. Sowinski picks up a grand slam, five Thunderbird points. And the scoreboard reading now, 
Thunderbirds, 98, and the Texas Outlaws, 82. What a play there by Terry Lynch, Sawinski, and the rest of the Thunderbirds. The pack getting intact now. There you see the clock. That's well, enough time. Down to the one minute mark. The Just enough time. Of it all. One more jam left in the girls' period. Okay, and then the men will take over for the final skating period of the game. All right, the jam is on. Okay, this is Hardman. Hardman up and look out! Lynch hits the rail and almost went over. Shirley Hardman, the captain of the Texas Outlaws, moving up the lone jammer. And the only jammer eligible to score. There's Sawinski. All right, Hernandez at the rear now, waiting to unload some artillery on the Hardman. Hardman trying to get by. Now Sawinski drops back. Judy Sawinski. Set now. Hardman trying to get by. There's Sawinski. Look at Liz Hernandez reversing the field, going back at Hardman. Hardman, oh, brother. Shirley Hardman goes down. As Liz Hernandez, whoops, makes a cushion out of Hardman. And uh, no score on that play, no score. And the score remains at the end of the uh, period here. 98 for the Thunderbirds, 92 for Texas. Hi, I'm John Hall, former T-Bird General Manager. This roller game skating action is brought to you by the publisher for Rolling Thunder the golden age of roller derby and the rise and fall of the other T-Birds. You can order this spectacular, exciting book on Amazon. Enjoy this final period of roller skating action. Thunderbirds were in the final skating period of the game. It's the Thunderbirds and the Texas Outlaws. All right, this is Lou Sanchez and Art Solis. Uh, it's a double scoring threat here for Texas. At the rear is Danny Riley. Art Solis, all right, Jim the King Trotter drops back. This is a tough Texas team. All right, Trotter up to Riley. Riley down. Look at Trotter. And Trotter crashes through, paving the way for Art Solis and Lou Sanchez. And please, fans, uh, bear with us. We're having a little audio problem. Uh, and a total of seven Texas Outlaw points. Seven Outlaw points. And the scoreboard reading now, Texas 89, Los Angeles 98. Texas knocking on the door now. We're in the final skating period of the game. And right now is John Velez up front. All right, this is Velez, number 15. He's got the lead. At the rear. What do we have? We've got Riley back there, or Gene Schroeder, rather, Roger Schroeder. All right, now, number 12, Lou Sanchez drops back. All right, Sanchez, and uh, look out, Riley down, thanks to Jim Trotter. Trotter again paving the way, enabling number 15, John Velez, to pick up a few big ones here for Texas. Texas coming across. And a total of eight points for each by Sanchez and Solis. So the scoreboard now is 98 to 97 in favor of Los Angeles. The pack getting intact now. The final skating period of the game. All right, the two jammers up front. Remember, they don't have the generous helmets. They were lost in shipment. All right, this is Little Richard Brown now. Little Richard, the lead jammer. All right, he's rolling at the rear. Okay, now Richard calling for help. Danny Riley drops back. 
Jamie Wiley dropping back here. And let's see, Trotter. And his partner, Lou Sanchez. Look at Richard trying to open the door, but to no avail. Oh, he gets if, back up. If this play works, this will be a sensational play. This is a beautiful play to watch. It will be a slide underneath the double block by Richard Brown. He'll slide on sitting down and get up again. That's okay, really now. Beautiful play to watch. If he, oh, I'm sure that's what they're going to work. Okay, here's Richard. Uh, there it is. Beautiful. Peter, you beautiful called play. it. There's little Richard Brown. Coming across and picks up a grand slam, five Thunderbird points. And the score now, Thunderbirds 103, Texas 97. The pack getting intact. You know, I've seen uh, Danny uh, work that play quite a few times, and uh, every time I do it, uh, I don't think I've ever seen him uh, uh, spoil it. That, that's worked for him every time I've ever seen him try to. Okay, now back to the jamming action. Little Richard moving out. Then I'm going to make that Larry Lewis. They both have the same skating style, Richard and uh, Larry Lewis. All right, this is Lou Sanchez now, number 12. Up to Larry Lewis. Look out, Lewis hits the rail over the rail. Basically, it knocks Lewis out of the jamming contention here. There's Lou Sanchez. Uh-uh, they're working on Riley back there. Riley goes down, and there's Larry Lewis. He was stopped again, and Lou Sanchez getting by. Two points. Two big points for Texas, and a score now, Los Angeles 103, Texas 99. All right, there's a timeout, uh, I believe, being called. Time. Okay, it's going to be John Velez, number 15. John Velez, followed by little Richard Brown. Richard up and Richard down. Oh, says Richard, that hurt. Okay, down goes number five, Larry Lewis. And here we go, Erwin Miller. They pick up a total of four points, Miller and Valez. Four points for Texas, and the scoreboard reading now, 103 to 103. It's all tied up, Peter, all tied up in nuts. Texas going back to their, to their first play, bottling up the skater, bottling up the skater. This time they bottled up two skaters, got their two jammers out, and scored two points each over the, over the, uh, the two they bottled up. Looks like they're going to make the same play again here. They've got their two men out early. The two small jammers. Okay, Irwin Miller. Number 11. All right, look out. The pack being blocked. And there they go. Irwin Miller. Uh, number 15, John Velez. But Velez over the rail. And looks like he's sitting under the track. <laughs> the high bank part. All right, so Texas now takes the lead, 113 to 103. Uh, Louis Sanchez with a subway play there that uh, is very dangerous, especially if you happen to be on the bottom of the pack. You get your legs tangled up with someone else's legs, you can very easily break a leg or break an ankle doing that jam. But uh, the guy that's doing it up top doesn't really hurt him. It's called the subway play, and it's, uh, it's effective but dangerous. Okay, the pack getting intact now. We're in the final skating period of the game with the score, Texas 113, the Thunderbirds 103. All right, this is Gregory Robertson now. Robertson moving out. The lead jammer. Robertson down. He's up. And look out, Irwin Miller over the rail. Reggie Robertson, he's trying to get by, trying to crash through that pack. They're blocking Robertson. Now, uh, watch out. This is going to be tough. Look at this. They're triple teaming. Robertson. Robertson down. On the infield, the play is called off. And I believe no score on that play, Peter. It looks like they're going to give him. Like, gave him one over Irwin Miller earlier when he railed Miller. And, and it looks like they're going to give him uh, three more. 
Three more right, points on that one. Well, it does make sense, Peter, right, because all those four skaters were right near Robertson when he went down, and I guess he gets... No, they're not. I'm not going to give it to him. No, I just have to wait and see. 106 to 113. He should have got at least one point. Yeah, that's right. Uh, 106 to 113 is the score now. Alrighty, this is Danny Riley. I'll make a check that, make that G Roger Schroeder. Schroeder bullies his way through and picks up a point, picks up three points for that matter. And it's now 109 Los Angeles, Texas 113. Okay, All right. at that last play, Robinson did get the uh, three points. One over Miller and they got two in the pack. Uh, and the bottle up with that just before they pushed him into the infield. The referees thought that he should get two more, so three points from 103 to 106, and then with the uh, Schroeder points, three points from Schroeder, make it now 109 to 113, and it's still anybody's game, Ed. Exactly. Anything could happen. All right, now the men are out of their huddle, and they're getting ready to go. Okay. Getting ready to go now. the sound of the whistle, the jam will get underway three minutes remaining in this game. The man has All right, this is Larry Lewis scampering out. Larry Lewis. He's got the lead now. He's going to try and capitalize here. Jim McKing trotted at the rear. Defending for Texas. Now they're going to set up a big block here. Trotter up front. Now it's Sanchez. You see the front men keeping the T-birds back. They can't get back to help their man. Here's Sanchez with that rear block again. Look out, Trotter. And no score into the infield. And it stays 109-113 That's right. And a fine block there by Jim Trotter. And we're coming down to the nitty-gritty of it all, Peter. Time is running out to score. Texas, 113. Los Angeles, 109. It's still anybody's game. The sound of the whistle. The jam will get underway, and no doubt this could very well be the final jam of the game. I look from the gate of their ace, Richard Brown. I haven't seen Riley do much in this game, but right now they have to get someone fast. It'll be Lewis or Brown. Well, uh, Riley's been basically concentrating on that uh, uh, defensive end of it, too, Peter. All right, the jam is on now. Robertson whipping out little Richard. Richard moves out now for Los Angeles. Little Richard Brown, he's going to try and go coast to coast. They need points here. They trail 113 to 109. Okay, little Richard Brown moving up to the ever dangerous Jim the King Trotter. Trotter getting set, waiting for Richard. Okay, it's Roger Schroeder dropping back for Los Angeles. Roger Schroeder. Schroeder and Richard. Let's see how they fare on this one. There's Trotter at the rear, the whip by Schroeder to Richard, he's up, down, goes Richard, but look, he gets by Trotter, Schroeder with another whip, little Richard Brown, trying to go all the way, he's trying, up to Trotter again, little Richard, time is running out, and a jam in this game, Richard down, he's back up again, he's up to Trotter, Trotter now, trying to play a little bit harder, defense, Richard getting by here, can he do it, there's Riley pushing Richard, Richard up to number 16 in Art Solis. Solis blocking him out. There's Jim the King Trotter hitting high. Six All seconds. right, Schroeder again. Five seconds. Now time running out. Two seconds. One second. The game is over. The fans applauding Richard. Two points there. He's kept on scale, passing the same two uh, skaters. Skaters, only two points on that play, and it's not enough. Uh, not enough on that. The final score, as you can see it. Texas, 113, 